It's Mel with the Cockeyed Homestead. I have the best neighbors. <laughs> Let me show you what he brought down there. Cat in hand. Wah, wah. Spoiled. This is what he brought. These were sitting up at the top of the road, and he said, you know, free pallets. Well, I grabbed them. They realized that I wanted all of them. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I came out, and there was this back. I thought, nope, I didn't bring those. Let me think. Nope, nope, I didn't bring those. <laughs> he had brought them down to us. Isn't that wonderful? Now I have to get busy and make stuff. <laughs> Why do you have to wipe your nose on my sleeve? Now, <laughs> I have to get these in the truck so I can take them to the back because I'm not carrying them one at a time. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So, uh, here we go. Fifteen. Sixteen. <laughs> All right, this one is a little heavier. <sighs> okay. Eighteen pallets. I think that's enough for this project. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, I decided that this is where I want my shed, so I need to take these off and get it going. I have to move my truck. <laughs> there and this over here kind of like that and then two ends and go up one more I think I need screws. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. While listening to Dervish and the dog argue, thank you so much, Utah, you two. Benny, you're being a jerk. Please stop it. Okay. Hey. Right. That's going to be that side, and I'll have another one over there. More holes. And I was thinking about stacking it up like this, and it would work. Except for one thing if anybody, just out of the kindness of their heart, would bring firewood over. They'd stack it to the top. I could never get it. So I'm gonna do it like this. Like I already have. Only one more head. Get down here. I already had these that I cut up for the herb bed and stuff. They're already cut in half. One less thing. 
Well, at least it's not the rabbitry. So now all I have to do, all I have to do, yeah, is put the roof on. I don't mind stooping for the wood, but I don't want it wet because that's a bad thing. <laughs> Fires don't like to start that way. So, next is the roof, but first, break time! <laughs> I'm back. And as I was sitting thinking, I realized, um, I'll be going in the end with all the dripping and stuff. That's no good. So, that's out. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do instead is put the high end over here. I found these and I made it straight-ish. I'm not going to be living in it. Oh, I hope not. Well, I have some old two befores that I can use to put on the roof. <laughs> I'm going to have more sawdust in my boots. Oh. I was cutting up the, um, um, <laughs> I was cutting up the wire so I could put the feeders into the rabbit cages. The next morning, next morning now, I went to put my boot on, so there's something in here. I got three of those little bits of metal just came out of my boot. Okay, I have this up here going back that way. So it'll drip that way instead of me, yay. Um, and the tin, of course, doesn't cover the whole thing because it's, you know, corrugated. Well, anyway, so I have to have boards across. So I'll use what I've got and hope for the best. So basically, this is how it's going to go together. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it's a woodshed you know so I'm going to continue on and see if I can't get at least two of these done I'm hoping <laughs> but I really don't have enough tin um, so we'll see <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me this has been Mel with the cockeyed homestead y'all have a blessed day you're gonna work <laughs>